Now, one more part of the basics for subtraction that is vinculum. So, so vinculum, what is the use of this vinculum and how it can be established? Now, see here. Suppose a number is like this 3, 1 bar. 3, 1 bar. Okay. Actually, this is not a normal number. Okay. And the bar which is above the number, I said 1 bar, right? The bar which I which is I am writing above the number, this symbol is known as vinculum. This symbol is known as vinculum. And in subtraction, this vinculum bar represents the negative thing. That means the one is not a positive one here, that is a negative one. And the part which doesn't have the bar that is a positive one so what is the uh, purpose of this number now let us see suppose 30 3 1 bar means 3 is in tens place so 30 1 bar is nothing but minus 1 so what is 30 minus 1 29 that means the actual number is 29 but we are representing this number in the form of vinculum like this Suppose we'll take one more example. 4, 3 bar, 6 bar. 4, 3 bar, 6 bar. Now, what is this uh, mean? I have to, I want to convert this vinculum number into the normal number. Okay, how to convert? First, see here, uh, just, I, just like I said, okay, 400 minus 36. So, what is 400 minus 36? 364. So 364. But suppose if I write some big number like this, uh, 5, 3, 4, uh, 5, 3 bar, 4 bar, 8 bar, 2 bar. Okay. So writing again some 50,000 minus 3,482, it is a lengthy one. How can we write this vinculum number? How can we convert this vinculum number? Or how can we convert this negative number, negative complement number into the normal number? Okay, within a single step. See here. To convert the vinculum number into the normal number, okay, you have to reduce the bar number before number. That means the bar number is how much? 3482. This is the bar number. Okay. Before number is 5. So you have to reduce this 5 by 1 every time. Whatever be the digit, whatever be the digit that is before vinculum number, you have to reduce by 1. So 5 becomes how much? Now it becomes 4. So what are the numbers here? 3, 4, 8, 2. All the numbers are having vinculum or all the numbers having bar on the numbers. That means you have to convert this one into normal numbers by applying the previous, just now we discussed previous sutra that is Nikhilam Navtaha Charmam Dastaha. All from 9, last from 10. So for these numbers, you have to apply that sutra. So apply all from 9, last from 10. 9 minus 3, 6. 9 minus 4, 5. 9 minus 8, 1. But last from 10, exactly. So 10 minus 2, 8. This is your answer. In the meanwhile, you may get some doubt. Why we are discussing this uh, uh, all from 9, last from 10 and this vinculum? Okay, all these things. So these are very very important for the coming subtraction methods. That's why I'm discussing here. Anyhow, you should be per thorough. You should be perfect with this uh, vinculum as well as R from nine, last from ten, so that it will be easy for you in the further subtraction methods. Anyhow, one more example. Suppose if a number is like this: three, six bar, four bar, two. I want to convert this number into normal way, right? Just now I said what. The bar before number should be reduced by 1. So here, what is the bar before number? 3. So 3 is reduced by 1. How much it will become? 2. As in, But here, only bar is only for 2 numbers. That is 2 digits. That is 6 and 4. So apply all from 9 last from 10 for these 2 numbers. There are only 2 numbers. So for the first number, it will be 9 minus 6. But second number, it will be 10 minus 4. So how much it will be? 3, 6. And drop this two as it is by because it has it doesn't have any uh, bar on that number, right? It, it is not a vinculum number. It is a normal number only. It is a normal digit only. So just drop it as it is. So your answer is this one. One more example: five three bar, two one bar six. I want to convert this one. 
how much will become 5 becomes 4 why because it uh, its next number is bar number that's why i'm reducing the before number by one now there is only one digit which is having a bar on it if only one digit having bar on it you just apply the complement nothing but tens complement so what is the tens complement for this three seven okay now again two so two i have to reduce it by one again why because its next number is complement that is a vinculum number so two becomes one here also only one number which is only one digit which is having a bar on it which is having vinculum on it so you can directly go with the complement that is nine six so four seven one nine six and finally one example i will tell you suppose four double zero uh seven no five four double zero seven six four bar and seven bar so now what will you think so the answer is four six zero zero three six is it the answer you got but it is actually wrong if you observe okay there are zeros two zeros which are in between two non-zero numbers two non-zero digits okay whenever zeros are coming whenever even one zero or two zero it doesn't matter but whenever zeros are coming in between two non-zero digits further zeros also the complement will apply that is the vinculum will apply that means the number this number is same like five four zero zero seven total bar six so the vinculum is also applied for these two zeros also why because they are in between two non-zero digits which are having the vinculum okay so now what is the answer for this one five becomes four and this number you can directly apply alpha from nine last from ten so how much five nine nine three and six as it is six so this will be your answer right so this is what about vinculum now we'll go into actual subtractions okay with which, uh, with the help of which we can do the maths especially subtractions very easier way by following the methods of all from 9 last from 10 that is nikilam namtaha charmandastaha and vinkula now so we got the basics of subtraction before starting subtractions actually okay i will give one more uh, basic one that is suppose uh, if you are subtracting 7 minus 4 if you are subtracting 7 minus 4 of course i know the answer is 3 i think i know that you also know the answer is 3 but you know there are some specific terms for this subtraction suppose the above number below number and the answer there are specific terms for this uh, numbers or digits so the above number that is 7 okay which we are subtracting from is known as minute end is known as minute end that means the, the number which we are subtracting from is known as by new end and the number which we are subtracting that is a below one we call it as subtra end we call it as subtra end once again i repeat the number which we are subtracting from that is the above number we call it as my new end and the number which we are subtracting is known as subtra end anyhow the number the answer which we got is known as difference or we can call it as remainder also difference or remainder okay now suppose 7 minus 4 yes it is possible we wrote the answer directly 3 suppose if i write like this 4 minus 7 4 minus 7 this time is the subtraction practically possible suppose for example you have 4 rupees okay and your friend came and asked you to give 7 rupees so you don't have seven rupees with you so sub giving is not possible subtraction is not pos possible practically okay so in such type of conditions okay what we are going to do we are going to subtract the above number from the below number that means we are going to subtract the four from seven which is a subprime and we are going to write the answer as three but for three along we are going to put a bar on it why because we did the negative one we did the negative subtraction so 7 minus 4 minus 7 and 4 the result is 3 but with a bar on it that is 3 bar right fine so we are done with the basics now we will start the actual subtractions in an easier way 
first we will start with double digit minus double digit minus single digit okay by applying Winkulam Sutra so we will take one example 24 minus 7 now just like I said okay we are in Vedic mass especially additions or subtractions we are not going to do from right to left which is the conventional way but here we are going to do from left to right now you see is there any digit below 2 there is nothing so we will just drop 2 as it is okay now you tell me 4 minus 7 is it possible to subtract uh, 7 from 4 no it is not possible so what I say when subtraction is not possible for the digits just like uh, 4 minus 7 okay you go for the reverse subtraction that is subtract 4 from 7 yes you are listening in a right way only okay you subtract 4 from 7 right how much will you get 3 but with a bar on it why because we did the reverse subtraction it is a negative one okay yes or no we did the reverse subtraction we did not 4 minus 7 we did 7 minus 4 but putting a bar on it that means it is a negative one its meaning is a negative one now it is 2 3 bar okay previously we discussed how to convert a vinculum number into a normal number now we got one vinculum number with the subtraction okay now you convert into this one this number into the normal number how much will you get just like i said the bar before number should be reduced by one always always so two becomes one so bar is having only for one digit if bar is having or if the vinculum is having only for one digit what we will do we will take the complement of the one so what is the complement of three seven so your answer is 17 now we'll take one more example uh, suppose 36 minus 4 I want to subtract 36 minus 4 just like the same way start from left to right so drop 3 as it is since there is no digit in uh, below that one I'm dropping 3 now 6 minus 4 yes it is possible so directly you can write 2 so answer is 32 when the subtraction is not possible then only we have to subtract the above number from the below number by putting a bar on it okay just like this example but if the subtraction is practically directly possible okay you can uh, directly subtract it so that you will get the answer directly no need of even converting the number one more example suppose you tell me now 47 minus 9 i want to subtract so drop this 4 as it is okay and 7 minus 9 not possible so go reverse 9 minus 7 how much 2 but yes with a bar on it now what is the normal number convert this number 4 becomes 3 what is the 2 complement 8 so your answer is 38 okay so like this we can do double digit minus single digit so we have seen the double digit minus single digit subtraction now we are going to do double minus double so double digit minus double digit suppose for example let us take 43 minus 27 i want to do 43 minus 27 again the same way we have to start from the left to right so what is 4 minus 2 yes 2 just drop the 2 as it is now 3 minus 7 is it possible 3 minus 7 no it is not possible so what we are going if the subtraction is not possible what we are going to do we are going to subtract in the reverse manner that is 7 minus 3 we are going to subtract the minus n from subtract so how much will you get the result 4 but yes with a bar on it now we got the answer as to 2 4 bar now what is the actual uh, normal number for this one convert the Vinculum number into normal number. How much will you get? Anyway, we know that bar before number should be reduced by 1. So 2 becomes 1. Now, if the bar is only for the 1 digit, we have to write the complement for that one. That is 4 bar 
converting after converting it will come 6 so what is our answer 16 one more example suppose 67 minus 19 so same way we will do little fast for this one so what is 6 minus 1 5 yes we will write 5 here now 7 minus 9 not possible so not 2 9 minus 7 so how much will get 2 but with a bar on it so 5 becomes 4 now 2 complement is 8 so what is our answer 48 similarly uh, 37 minus 14 so 3 minus 1 is 2 but okay we will write 2 here now what is 7 minus 4 3 so directly uh, subtraction is possible so we are going to write the answer directly no need of even converting the number why because it is not a Winkulam number we have got the answer directly so such in a such a easy way we can do the double digit minus double digit and lastly one more example I will tell you for this one what is that example suppose if we take 46 minus 16 so what is 4 minus 1 3 will be 3 only 6 minus 6 yes it is practically possible so simply directly put a 0 that will be your answer right like this we can do the double digit minus double digit so now we will see triple digit minus double digit suppose 348 minus 26 i want to subtract 348 minus 26 now same way start from left to right drop 3 as it is so what is 4 minus 2 so directly you can subtract 2 what is 8 minus 6 2 that's it, simply 322 436 minus 47 i want to subtract 436 minus 47 start from left to right drop 4 as it is why because there is nothing there is no digit below 4 that's why i'm dropping simply 4 as it is now 3 minus 4 is it possible no it is not possible so go reverse what is 4 minus 3 1 but don't forget every time when you are doing the reverse subtraction don't forget to put a bar on it if you forget to put the bar on it you are going to get the wrong answer so be cautious okay now so 6 minus 7 not possible so do reverse subtraction 7 minus 6 1 but with a bar on it now i got 4 1 1 bar now how to convert this one into the normal number uh, just like we said the bar before number should be reduced by 1 so 4 becomes 3 now there are two numbers which are two numbers continuously which are having bars on it okay just like we discussed whenever the vinculum or whenever the bars are having the numbers in the continuous numbers whenever the numbers are having continuously with the bars on it we will apply the all from 9 last from 10 okay once again i am telling whenever the numbers are getting continuously bars on them apply all from 10 all from 9 and last from 10 now there are two numbers continuously which are having bars on it that is which is having vinculum on it so just apply all from 9 last from 10 for these two numbers so first will first number will be subtracted from 9 now what is 9 minus 1 8 and the second number will be subtracted from 10 so what is 10 minus 1 9 so your answer is 389 one more example 572 minus 81 so fine we will drop as it is 7 minus 8 not possible so with a one bar on it why because by reversing the subtraction 8 minus 7 now what is 2 minus 1 yes practically possible directly you can put now we got the answer 5 1 bar 1 now how to convert this one anyway the same way 1 bar Bef bar before number should be reduced by 1 that is 4 1 bar complement is 9 and 1 as it is you can drop so what is the answer 491 and one more example 762 minus 39 i want to subtract 762 minus 39 so drop 7 as it is 6 minus 3 yes directly you can drop 3 now 2 minus 9 not possible so do reverse subtraction that is 9 minus 2 so what is it is 7 but with a bar on it so what is the answer now you are going to get 73 the bar before number is how much 73 subtract uh, so bar before number we will reduce by 1 so 73 becomes 72 now so bar number 7 so what is the uh, complement 3 so what is your answer 723 so like that we can do double digit minus sorry triple digit minus double digit now we are going to discuss triple digit minus triple digit now coming to triple digit minus triple digit the same way we can go through suppose 
four three six minus two one eight. I want to subtract this one. Four thirty six minus two eighteen. So start from left. What is four minus two? Two. Drop it as it is. Three minus one. Directly you can do two. Now six minus eight. It is not possible. So we'll go reverse. Eight minus six. Two with a bar on it. Now I want to convert the quinquilla number into the normal number. So how we will convert? In the same way, just like we did, the bar before number. Bar before number is how much? Twenty-two. So reduce twenty-two by one. How much it will become? Twenty-one. Now what is the complement of uh, two? Eight. So what is our answer? Two hundred and eighty. One more example. Seven forty-nine minus two eighty-three. So seven minus two five. Okay. Four minus eight not possible. So do eight minus four. That will be four bar. Reverse subtraction. So nine minus three directly you can write six. If the subtraction is possible, we will write directly. If the subtraction is not possible, then only we will go for the reverse subtraction and we are going to write the answer with a bar on it. That is nothing but vincula. Now five four bar six. Now you tell me. So five become okay. The bar before number will become reduced by one, and this is the complement six and six as it is. So what is our answer? Four sixty six. Same way, suppose five uh, thirty four minus two thirty eight. Okay, five minus two three, but three only. Three minus three will be zero. No problem. So four minus eight not possible. So eight minus four is four bar. So we got three zero four bar. Right now, anyway, bar before number is thirty. Reduce by one. How much will become twenty nine? So four complement is six. So what is our answer? Two ninety six. Seven fifty-eight minus two fifty-four. So seven minus two five will be five. Five minus five zero. Eight minus four four. Directly we got the answer five zero four. So like this we can do triple minus triple. Next we will see any number minus any number or any digit number minus any digit number. Even the ten digits or twenty digits doesn't matter to us. Okay. Now we are going to see any digit subtract minus any digit. So whatever be the number you take, it doesn't matter to me how many digits it is. It doesn't matter to me. You can subtract any big number minus any big number, and we can get the answer. Okay, in an easy and uh, very interesting manner, right? Just see. We'll take some bigger number randomly. Uh, I didn't remember the even digits also. So five, two, three, four, one, six, seven, two, eight. Uh, 5 so i have taken some 10 digit number like this in the same way minus 2 3 8 9 1 7 2 1 3 9 so i want to subtract okay this problem or i want to subtract the this number from this number right so you may think so if you do in the normal conventional way it will take a lot of time and you are going to get a strain a lot why because every time we have to check whether it will go or not if it is not going we have to borrow from the next number so we have we have to put the numbers we have to look over that one okay so it will take a lot of strain to you but here we are simply going to do the subtraction within a single line like this see okay so start from the left in the same way we just make we did 5 minus 2 will be 3 Here two minus three no so three minus two one bar here five bar here five bar here zero and here one bar okay seven minus two five okay and two minus one one eight minus three five five minus okay five minus not possible so nine minus five four bar so this is the number which we got with the vinculum bars on them now we have to convert fastly these numbers okay how now see here just like we did. And yeah, if you see a zero came between two Winkelmann numbers, It, just like we discussed in the bond, we discussed in the concepts, basic concepts. Whenever zero comes in between two no two non-zero Winkelmann digits, okay, the Winkelmann is applied to zero also. So you have to remember this one. Whenever zero comes between two Winkelmann numbers, okay. So for the zero also, Winkler will be applied. Okay. Now, so this is the number which we got. Now, see, see the this complete number are going to have the bars on them. So 
just like in the same way the bar before number is how much 3 so that should be registered by 1 2 now the numbers are continuously having the bars on them so apply r from 9 last from 10 so how much will you get 9 minus 1 8 9 minus 4 4 9 minus 5 4 9 minus 0 9 but lastly 10 minus 1 so 9 next 5 1 5 4 bar anyhow so the bar before number is how much 515 so this should be registered by 1 so 515 becomes 514 okay and 4 bar its complement is so your answer is how much 28445146 so like this in an easy way we can do the subtractions so thank you now we will see the next way of subtraction okay which is which we call it as match and mismatch method okay